We begin with a breaking news update. A prayer vigil turns deadly on Chicago's southwest side. One person was killed and six others were wounded. It happened last night in Little Village. Charday Gray tells us what investigators know so far. A total of seven people were shot while they were attending a vigil last night. One person died. The next day, officers were canvassing the neighborhood, passing out flyers like this, asking for anybody to speak up to help with their investigation. On a soggy Sunday morning, Chicago police officers canvassed 25th and Spalding, placing these flyers on cars, mailboxes, and fences. It says anonymous tips will be rewarded. It's being passed out after one person was killed and six others were injured at a prayer vigil. Shot spotter detected several rounds near that intersection. South Spalding, 18 rounds high capacity on the corner on the sidewalk. That prayer vigil was taking place in the front yard of a southwest side home. A 32-year-old man was killed. Cook County's medical examiner has identified him as Froyland Garcia of Berwyn. Police say he was shot multiple times, including other victims. 2503 South Spalding, multiple people shot in the corner. Police say a Jeep stopped on the street. Someone got out of the vehicle and began shooting, hitting a total of seven men. The victims range in age from 31 to 51. They were shot in their legs, hands and shoulders. One person was even shot in the head. Police say they managed to get themselves to Mount Sinai. They just related that they have two gunshot victims. They just took away the and I think they're going to Mount Sinai. They said they have two gunshots victims. Video posted to social media claims that people trying to get to the hospital were delayed due to Riot Fest concert goers, but police aren't confirming those reports. A possible tip on the suspect's vehicle led police to 46th Place in Western and back of the yard's neighborhood. We noticed one officer with a rifle, but officers remain tight-lipped about this scene. Detectives say they're in their early stages of their investigation. No one has been arrested. Reporting in Little Village, Sharday Gray, CBS News, Chicago. And Little Village neighbors tell us the remaining six victims are expected to be okay.